beauties welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch this video if today is the first time you watch one of my videos welcome welcome to the Marilyn Morales family welcome to the Eminem family like I, I like to say so today it's all about a new trial we're gonna test I'm getting ready to go to work and um, I'm testing this new Rimmel London and this will be a long last a lasting finish 24 hour breathable foundation if, with long wear um, this is a long wear foundation, so this claims has high definition, high definition finish, and medium coverage with an SPS of 20. So this is the foundation right here, and I'm in shade neutral beige, which the claim will be 400. It is 706. I don't know if you guys can see it up here. Hold on. So 706 in the morning. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and, and if you're at the end of the video like these type of videos, please give me a big thumbs up. But if you would like to know what I think and how this foundation tests and wear out throughout the day while I'm at work, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so for primer, I will be using um, what I pretty much use every single time, every single day, and will be the Nivea Men. I already primed my face, uh, moisturized my face. I'm just trying to, I need another one, you guys. Trying to get the last bits of this family of this um primer that I like to use. Um, I have to cover that thing up here. So for that, I'll be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer, so I could go ahead and color correct this red spot. And mine as well, since I'm doing this, let me let me go ahead and do this. And the areas that I need correction. So I'm ready for foundation. The foundation has a really nice smell to be a very inexpensive um, foundation. It has like a spa feeling. Like a nice and luxury um, foundation. And also the one, it looks like the um, foundation one from Clinique. So I'm going to go ahead and dot this foundation all over my face. And I'm going to pounce all the foundation. Um, half of the face I'm going to do it with my um, sponge from Morphe. I'm not expecting to have a, few, a full coverage because my foundation claims that it is a medium finish and the other section or my other side of my face I'm going to be using uh, my lavish sibling brush I'm going to try to um, get a little bit more coverage in the areas that I feel I need more coverage. Um, and let's see what happens, what I think. It builds just a little bit more coverage, um, but it doesn't cover your blemishes, but that's all right because that's not the claim of this foundation. But it is a little, little buildable, um, but it will stay in the, a little um, higher than a medium, but it will not be, it will not be a full coverage foundation. You can still see blemishes and everything else so I'm going to spot concealer in those areas but the finish it's a beautiful finish um which side I like the best with the sponge um it gave it dried a little bit faster than with the brush so this area looks a little bit more dewy because it's still the product is still um wet but I like both finishes. I will say I like better cover. I have better coverage with the um, with the stippling brush than with the sponge area. But it covered areas that it needed to be covered, and 
I like the finish and it doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel hard. It feels really good. So, so far so good. So let's see how much it wears. I'm going to go ahead and um, apply concealer. I did purchase a concealer from them, but it was too light. So, and I did purchase the, um, the palette from them. So I will link, I already did this video. It was a video prior to this video. So I'll link that somewhere in the eye area and also towards the end of the video. So you guys can take a look at what I think about the concealer and everything else because it way it was very light, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to give you, there's a car and my dogs are working. So I will give you how it looks, but the foundation was very good. It was just way too light. So I'm going to try to get another foundation because I did like the finish. I'm going to go ahead and bring whatever product I left. For contour, I'm going to be using my contour stick from um, LA Colors and see how this performs. And I like, I've been liking to buff this with this um, LA uh, Wet n Wild stippling brush. It blended very good. What I've been liking um, at the beginning when I first purchased this product, I didn't really like it, but I found out that I have to kind of let it dry um, in order to pick up some type of color. Um, it's not much, but at least as a base for the um, powders, then it will be, I'm not having any issues. Just because I don't really like a product at the beginning, I'm not going to stop using it um, because I'm going to keep on testing it. And I purchase every, I purchase everything with my own money. So I'm not just not throwing money away, just to let you know. All right, so I'm going to set my face and do the rest of my makeup, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, so my makeup is done. I'm ready to go to work. Um, my check-in time, it is 7.39. So let's see how this foundation from Remo will work throughout the day. So I'll keep you posted. I'll see you guys on check-in. Hi guys and welcome back. Um, I'm doing a checking. It's around 12 o'clock. I'm at work. You can see with, with my scrubs. There you go. I got a better lighting. So this is how my makeup is looking. I still look very dewy um, and it's still in place. I do have um, my nose that is a little bit oily. As you can see, I'm going to get the camera as close as I can. So I am a little bit um, in the dewy side, but so far so good it's not moving around and I just do look very dewy which is a look that I like to have so I'll see you guys in a few and most likely it will be around four o'clock or five or whatever time I get out of work and then I'll be in my um, in my studio in my beauty room so I'll see you guys pretty soon so right now it's 519 like you can see um, I'm still like in the foundation the only thing my t-zone it's a little bit oily, especially my nose area. So, so far so good. I'm liking the foundation, especially for the cost. You can't really beat it. So I'll see you guys in my check-in and that will be my final as soon as I get home and I'm ready to take this makeup off. So I'll see you guys pretty soon. Hasta la vista. It is seven o'clock at night. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, but it's seven o'clock at night and this will be my last check. Okay guys, so I'm back at home. Thank God, today was a very long day at work. So this is how my makeup is looking. So I'm gonna get closer to the camera. I'm gonna turn, I'm looking at my mirror. I have it right in front of me. So the only areas that I have, it's just minimal. It will be my nose area. That's what it looks just shiny. Um, but those are the areas that I always expect to have a little bit more of, a um, little more oils. Don't have no lippy anymore. Um, but I'm gonna get my magnifier, um, 
mirror and I'm going to get very closer. Okay, so what I'm seeing with my magnifying um, mirror is that even though that my nose area is oily, um, the claims of this foundation is that they, it's a long wear foundation. And I'm going to agree with the claims because even though my face, or not my face, my nose is very oily, um, the foundation has not um, break out. So I have, I'm going to do like this. Usually I break out my, um, my foundation usually separates here if it's not a long lasting foundation because I have um, my nose that it's usually a little bit more oily. So I know if I pat this, this face will last another eight hours without having any issues. So this foundation right here for $7.99, it is a go. So go ahead and buy it if you want it and if you want to try it, but I really enjoy this foundation and the way it looks on my um on my face even though that my nose is um shiny it just blends in with the rest of my makeup so not bad Rimmel you did it if I will compare this I will compare this to the wet and wild and what I like about this one is that this one will give me an SPS SPF of 20 so within when I compare wet and wild with the Rimmel I will still go with this one even though that my Wet n Wild it's one of my favorite ones so if you're looking for a foundation that it's just it's a medium coverage so it's not a caked up foundation I don't like to say caked up it's just full coverage um, foundation and you don't mind showing a little bit of your imperfections on your face which it's not bad I call it beauty marks then this will be a foundation that I'm going to continue to use um, going forward especially to go to work so if I could compare also, this will be for another drug brand. This will be on my Color Girl Vitalist um, Elixir. And this foundation, it's up to here right now. So this one was more expensive than this one. So this is a go. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to, uh, to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you like this type of videos. I love trying things on and I'm finally finding my groove. How to kind of blog and, and um, finding the ways how to incorporate different ideas on my video so i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah. remember that i love you guys but also there's somebody more important than me that is god that love you as well bye bye Mwah. besos